What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. Instead of pick up where we left off, we have destroyed the Austrian Empire in Central Europe. So now we've got a bit of consolidation and some forming up to do um, against on the, against the, uh, the borders with our old enemy, the Russian Empire. So we've got troops running all over the shop. Could probably stand to push and hit Denis Spasineva. Spasineva, Spasineva. But I'd like to hit this guy. Stefan the Toporov, Toporov from Rezhov, Rezhov, I suppose, that's how you pronounce that, and drive them east. And plus we've got lots of troops in the centre and I'd like to kind of push them out to my um, new front lines. We are pushing against our mean, uh, uh, the Ottomans and that might actually be a good idea to take them, well I don't have any cash, I can't really bring the territory under control post invasion so let's hit and turn and see what we see how we get on i'm not i'm, I'm still going to leave this area a bit alone for now instead focus on the drive into russia and securing russian territory and also begin forming an invasion force for india so let's hit and turn some of these troops that are on their way back to the homeland just to see what we can do. If we if we need to do anything to spice them up. Number of agents are on the move. But yeah, I want to hit Nerun to provide to isolate and cut off the uh, Prussian Empire. But also I suppose also I'd like to take out Denmark as well. Yeah, we're just outside the gates of Moscow. And then they're desperately trying to Deal our technologies. But that's okay. I don't think our technologies are going to save them. There's a number of areas where I want, want, there's certain technologies that once they get it doesn't really matter. Like if they get fiber rank or they get quick climb or shrapnel shell. I mean, fundamentally, you, you can do a bit of counterintelligence in this game, but I, it generally feels like you're better placed just focusing on advancing your own technology as fast as you can and letting them do what they want to do. So Mr. Roig, you push on, upgrade the farm. So we won't spend this time while we don't have any major... Whoops, accidentally minimised my screen. We want to t spend this time, now we haven't got to do any emergency... Um, recruitments and things are a bit more stable to actually improve our economic foundations. So this army here at Venice. The Mr. Sanchez. Get you guys to push up already up to Chukask. It's quite a long way. A number of port upgrades. You're going to push and hit Genoa, but how is Genoa doing as far as allies go? Nothing. They're completely isolated. Good. Let's get a couple of these really quite expensive port upgrades, but they are quite valuable in the longer term. It's these militia units. So can you put leave Hanover yet? Down to minus four. With militia, that is minus three. Recruit two more militia. Well, actually, fundamentally, it doesn't really matter. Because this army is going to stand, is going to stay here before we invade Copenhagen anyway. And that's going to take a few turns. So there's no immediate rush. To make sure that they're in a better position. So let's keep upgrading our economy. First and foremost, Hungary. Boom. Upgrade you to a craft workshop because you're you're all upgrading and you're ma majority Catholic anyway. Oh yeah, right. You need to keep upgrading. State, steam powered cloth mill, upgrade the farm. Upgrade the cloth mill, upgrade a few more farms. 
just keep dumping money on absolutely everywhere. Let's go down to Madrid because we want to make sure we've got the army board built and some more of these more advanced um, industry buildings. Upgrade the theater. So get the agent to stand in Felix's army. But he is now ready. So you, Matthias de Galve, push towards Vilnius. You've got your orders to push up towards Yelgava. Christian, you're going to replenish. Facing down this army, ready for an attack next turn. Can't repair the, the uh, garrison, the, build, go, the buildings here at Breslau. Mr. de Castor is replenishing. Can't do anything to repair Berlin, but at least they're on our side. You men hop back inside. This all needs repairs. Workers have rioted at Württemberg, but let's get you. Mr. Capitello, who was going to head south, get back to Württemberg. Workers on strike in Saxony, not anymore. Workers riot in Liguria, not anymore. Okay, again, we've also got some repairs to do in Warsaw. We'll see all of our agents are on a long run. Ooh! Um. Hmm. We've definitely got the firepower. Reinforcements coming in won't change the price of fish very much, but I think I might maintain siege for now. I want to take advantage of a period where we don't have to spend every. We well, we, <laughs> we don't have to spend all of our money trying to um, prop up our fighting force. We can spend some time to actually, you know, upgrade our tax base and help that grow at an even faster rate, which will be incredibly valuable once we start fighting in India. Yeah, more espionage ongoing with those crafty Russians. Don't worry, you won't have time to be crafty once I begin pushing into your territory. Persia's declared on us, understandable. Let's bring New Spain into the mix. No one else has joined them. A lot of troops. A lot of troops. So we're going to have to do... Oh, the Mughals have attacked Cayenne. Crafty, crafty Mughals. That's what happens when you're not... If you don't attack them at home, they will eventually attack you. Unless you're patrolling those crossing points, there's not a lot you can do. Santos Reyes. You're down here as well. Tito Cardenas. Okay, you guys combine. New town emerges, Raleigh in the Carolinas. So we've got spare troops. We do have enough troops, and that's just a patrol boat. So let's take a... I don't have, it. I have any actual ships in the Caribbean. Not a sausage, eh? Managed to do all this without really any fighting strength. Hmm. It's not so good. Very well. But in the grand scheme of things, what we can do is take a. So go over to Lose, you build a sloop. Oh no, that's the completely the wrong type of port. So go to Yorktown, build a sloop, because your guard ship, Guerrero, is about to be needed elsewhere. Mr. Cordoba, aboard ship at Charleston. Actually, no, that's, they don't even need to build a sloop. First of all, upgrade the port, cancel building the sloop. The Sloop Bizarro can sail north to occupy Yorktown as guard ship. 
you can sail into Cinemari. And then you can push out and attack this Mughal army that's attempted to land on our shores. And that shows you just how important maintaining controls of ports can be. But yes, let's attack this Mughal force that looks ghastly familiar to what we've seen in other campaigns. Ugh. Many, 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 many Mughals to slaughter. But this is where I want to take Narun, hold the river, and try and draw as many of them in, as possible into a a set of a series of river battles where I can slaughter them in the open ground. So let's put colonial infantry plus an, an Irish brigade unit in the centre. Put our demi cannons on the front line. My infantry. My regular line infantry to protect the right flank. Let's get. Yeah. Get my colonial line. My regular colonial line to protect the right flank with a. My frontiersman. And on the left flank, we're going to take a unit of line infantry, two infantry de marina. Ooh, that's quite an interesting little feature, actually. Try run my light infantry up there if I can. Pikes are on the flank. Cluster my cavalry together because it's weak. General sit behind the line. 12 pounder. Sit behind the line. Well, all of my artillery can focus on attacking the artillery. But let's advance. These two units up on the left, and then I took take an a unit of marines around the left as well, backed up by pikes. Yeah, they're not going to count on my Irish brigade. But they've lost quite a few guns. The canister shot, ceasefire. Engage the horsemen. The Irish Brigade have stood up. Yeah, all that gunfire is probably not going to cause them... Oh, that's fantastic. She cast a shot there. Switched to round shot. Been engaging the musketeers. So they've extended out on the right flank. That's why we've got our pikemen. Our light infantry have quite a significant position up on the hill, plus our marines, plus our pikes, although my pikes are hidden. So let's take our provincial cavalry a bit wide. My frontiersmen are both hidden, so the enemy doesn't know they are there. Switch to canister shot, reload and hit the horsemen, but they will probably get hit by my light infantry anyway. Coming in for their skirmish attacks as musket balls whip through the trees. So let's have a look at that. Infantry de Marina just look great. This colonial line infantry that I can only recruit so many of, they look quite similar to the infantry de Marina, but they've got proper cross belts. They look really nice. I wish I could recruit more of them. My light infantry engaging the bowmen. Get our guns to hit the bowmen. The bowmen sure to not stick around for very long. 12 pounders behind the line. Keep engaging their guns and then you're going to focus on the camel nomads. Canister shot the bowmen. There you go, the dervishes have tried to push around the left of the rock. And the marines are going to hold their own, push the dervishes around the front, into the waiting arms of the 23rd Regiment of Foot, who have reloaded. And yep, as soon as they show themselves around the corner, ah, 
that? They're going to focus on this piece, are they? Push my marines around, the flank. Cavalry charge. Pikes get into position. Gunners cast a shot. The Kizilbashi. 12 pounders at the rear. Their artillery's on the move. Charge my marines around to hit the bowmen. My pike's going to run around to hit the dervishes that have hit the 23rd. Dervishes have been routed. So one unit chase them down, the other unit charge into that unit of dervishes. My marines are about to charge into the bowmen. And my marines are the equal... Well, they are the better of any bowmen. Light infantry sees fire. Pikemen charge into the mix, although it looks like my line infantry will see them off. But when the push begins on the right flank, on the left flank, we'll probably continue it. With my <clears throat> with my pikemen going straight for the camel nomads. My muskets advancing. Frontiersmen form up. Get ready to hit the musketeers because they are on the verge of retreating. Well, they were. So chase down the levy instead. Bring my provincial cavalry over. So this is it now. Start the push. Get the provincial cavalry to hit the 37th in the rear. They are on the verge of routing, so the cavalry charge could well send them over the edge. And it has. Push up. Pikemen retreating to their last bastion of safety. Deploy my general to begin chasing down enemy troops. My skirmishers can get down here. They're going to fire into the flank of my pikes. So I'm going to keep my pikes moving. So my line infantry advance up into their face, the marines push one flank, and these marines push another flank with the pikes. These men are going to gun down that unit of musketeers. My general hit that unit of dervishes, because so we've got a good opportunity to knock out a few units here, I think. There we go, their musketeers know something's up. It's the job of the 23rd to engage them with musket fire. My pikes have smashed into one flank. The musketeers charge them, my marines charge them. My pikemen continue to harass them. Hey, that is a unit of dervishes knocked out. That's pretty good. Go hit, the, hit that unit of musketeers. Uh, you're not going to knock out that musketeer unit, sadly. Let's hop back to our pikes. No, no, wrong unit of pikes. Oh, artillery unit cease fire. Two units of marines and unit of line infantry engaging this unit of Kizilbashi musketeers.
do not think these musketeers are going to stick around for that for too long. But yes, it does highlight that we need to bring war to their shores, else it will come to ours. If Romo pokes away, do the camels turn around? Yeah, they do. <laughs> now they can die aboard our pikes. The marines are doing okay. Are they, they are no, they are guard units, yeah. But they are their men are holding on. Go on, you men. Knock them out. It's only camels. You've killed many a camel before. And you will kill many camel again. Dropping like flies. Many generals been killed. They're wavering. The 41st are wavering. And they've broken. Hurrah! Excellent. So that's that invasion force defeated. We can auto-resolve auto the remnants. Yeah, they're down to 1,000 men remaining. No doubt they'll make me suffer for that. Actually, let's not move that far. I want to maintain some level of mobility. So let's hop back to Europe. So Berlin. Oh, Berlin's been converted into that's a scholar not a priest to be honest probably no harm in upgrading this to a church school so let's recruit a sloop to occupy the port let's upgrade new roads down in Spain the Real Academia de Bella Arte de San Fernando. So what does that give us? Pretty much just a whole bunch of happiness across the board. Increase in research rate. Increase in town wealth per turn. Increase in real town wealth growth. Yeah, let's keep going. So we've got... When this third army is ready... We can ship them across. New town emerges. Oh, we've, we've already sorted that out. Tobacco warehouse. Upgrade the farm. Upgrade the church. Upgrade the governor's mansion. Upgrade roads. We need all these seminaries just to keep the native and Protestants under control. Again, dump a whole bunch of money in Canada. Port blockade Demerara, that's okay, that's the Persians. So then what we want to stop do before we go too mad. We've got walls. First of all, I think the name of the game is to fall back to the city and begin mass recruiting infantry because we are about to see not just this army come our way but this army this army another army that's coming up there so fundamentally we need a force from Ankara to march and support so we've got nine slots yeah i guess that'll do um elsewhere christian make sure you're fully replenished before you attack that force there these two armies are 
well placed to continue their advance into Russian territory. Jamie de Azara, you can march outside of the city, outside of their range, bring you guys into garrison them into garrison the city. Can this force leave Prague? It can as well. That's great news. Give them orders to run towards Riga. Can Mr. Cervante leave Dresden? Not yet, although we could help them out by building a coaching in. Mr. Roig. Give you an ambitious army to push on St. Petersburg. You can stay where you are in Hanover. Has Stuttgart been brought into the fold yet? Yeah, minus two. I'll repair that. Should be okay. Okay, let's go to Mr. Kiroga. And let's attack the city of Yerevan and bring it under our control from the Ottoman fiends and also open up the southern front against the Russians, although we do want to uh, maintain our advance east um, quite significantly. But yes, let's say Yerevan. No defences. Reinforcements coming in are pretty weak. Yeah, we got this. Let's attack the city. There'll be another step towards removing the Ottoman Empire from existence and replacing it with a true light of Catholic reason headed by the Spanish King. I think it will be good for Spain, and therefore the world. Yeah, it's... Ooh, hello. Battle for the hill. Deploy off to the flank. Okay, there's a feature there. So see the bulk of my troops and deploy them to go straight up the hill. Take four units to go around the lower side. Split up our cavalry. Reinforcements aren't coming in from that bad of a direction. We want to push quite aggressively because they've got howitzers. Which will just not be good for us in the longer term. You got Mamluk guards, Delhi horsemen, some enemy re enemy infantry units to come in. Azar, yeah don't foresee that to be too much of an issue. I'm trying to give as good as we can get, but obviously their guns are in defences, defensive positions. So the 90th, 82nd. So in this left flank is the, the key to this strategy to squeeze them down into the town then we can move this line to be more like this kind of have to attack daddy horseman should be fine the mamelukes uh, could be a bit squiffy All on these men, getting them up to this raised position. They're going to be very tired, but they are critical. Yeah, there we go. A couple of... A bit of a skirmish going on here. I suspect we will probably win that action. Guns focus on the mass of troops rather than the men 
in their dug-in positions. Our cuirassiers are going to be what provide us the advantage here. Let's bring our caval cavalry up. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get some hits on the flank. You men hit the last of the Delhi horsemen. See, all my guns hit that unit of Mamelukes. Islamic swordsmen look like they're in a bit of a dodgy position. Thankfully, they have pushed up to try and get the better of us. You men hit that unit of Azar. You men hit that unit of Azar. These Hussars keep moving. Pull the cavalry back, because they're about to get skirmished by a czar. On this flank. Hello! Another unit of a czar. And the infantry are finally arriving. Pull the cavalry back. The risk is of souls are... Uh, are upon us. So let's form up our line. The Azars are scattered. There we go. Begin the squeeze. These Mamelukes. Taking a bit of a risky line. <laughs> Come on, man. I know you're tired, but you need to put a volley into those risks of souls. So do you, hopefully, the 97th. Yep, they are. My cavalry are sat like hawks, waiting for the first blink of upset. Got to charge them with my cavalry. They are low defence. That's the thing to bear in mind about the Risks of Souls. They love a scrap. Let's advance our line up. So my light cover on the right flank can hit the Azar. The Curacier can hit the Janissaries. Such a massive cavalry charge. All of you except the cavalry get back to your position on the flank. Because they are shattered, there's enough 30 skirmishers left. Okay, right, but actually all of you, all of you focus on the Azar first. That will get that will provide a larger number of troops to charge the Janissaries. New men advance on the right flank. Garrison, Islamic swordsmen have been pushed back. Mass cavalry charge against the armed populace. Yeah, they don't like that one bit. New men advance. Light cavalry chase down the Azar. Who's that? Firelock on Populous. They're not long for this world. No more reinforcements are coming. My guns hit the armed Populous below the hill. The first on Populous unit is nearly broken. Chance that they'll probably they might both pop together. Yep, you're going down. See, all this light cavalry is done pretty good. Infantry charging in to provide the hammer blow. Yeah, there they go. So we're all engaging the Israeli at point blank range. Our cavalrymen charge on to the mortars. 
these units pivot to shoot the Israeli in the flank. Aha! Too bad some of them locked on, because that means they will fall against the spikes. Go after the garrison Islamic swordsmen. Oh, there we go. They have all been routed. Excellent. Yerevan is ours. There we go. Our eyes are looking towards Tbilisi. So let's repair the governor's residence. We'll punish our troops. I don't think it's a madrasa, which you want to knock down. Replace it with a church school. Spread the true faith. You're well positioned to withstand a push from the Persians. Anchor is starting to build up a new force. You are... Might actually make your way to Istanbul. Hop across and then help push the Russians from the south. Still got a few places to repair here. Can you, Mr. Demicado, leave Bavaria, leave Munich? In theory, yes, for two turns. So you are going to push up to here instead. This is where having better roads is so important, which I don't actually have at the moment. Apart from that, port blockaded, trade agreement cancelled with Persia because they declared war on us. New town emerges, enemy raid, successful missions, path blocked. It's okay, let's head end turn. We want to bring our agents along with us as we invade India, because you want to start immediately spreading Catholicism, not just around the borders that we capture, but also around the... You want to capture territories, build church schools, then begin spreading Catholicism ahead of us as we advance. Ooh, we're pushing towards Kiev, eh? Ah, the Russians are starting to... Head low. Well, we're going to have to fight this properly, aren't we? do it. Interesting they decided to go for my main fleet rather than scooping up the uh, scooping up the sheep, the ships. That's normally what the AI does, isn't it? So fourth rate's up front galleon behind Fifth rates behind them. Let's get up over here. There we go. So the majority of their fleet is 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 uh, weaker than ours. They have a few fourth rates, absolutely, but not that many. We've got more than them. So what I'm going to do, guys, is chop the recording and bring you guys back when. The action is started, so see you in a minute, everyone. And battle has been joined with the first volley going off from the San Juan Evangelista to Vladislav. So the main objective is to surround and tie up the head of their fleet and try and chew them up one by one. We've got lots of ships to the rear. Privateer, 6th rates, 5th rates, brigs, sloops. And a couple of bomb catches, actually, that might cause us a few issues. But that's kind of where I want to use my 5th rates, because they might be quite good at slowing, at um, pursuing the enemy like that. They might be better placed to chase down bomb catches. There we go. Two of our ships are pouring shots into Vladislav now. We're going to maintain our, adva maintain our um, current rate of advance. The head of their... Of all of their ships actually turning into us. Let's 
getting to the point now where you don't these long line ahead actions actually aren't really the best for your fleet so I end up breaking them up and going okay let's take it a bit slower nah use no point in you chain shotting it well, that's not a great broadside but m make all these chaps stay hold in position while these first three ships of the fleet begin engaging Vladislav they will get shots against the enemy as and when although what I do sometimes do is just shuffle them together like this to be honest you might actually start firing Buy us some chain. Okay, take the fleet again. Set them to move forward. Well, that's a chain shot if I ever saw one. That's a chain. That's a type of chain. A target you want with chain shot. So everyone that's currently sailing, sail at higher rate of knots. on to my clever scheme namely don't sail around the way you're going to shoot you're going to get shot at hey I never realised I could do that I could give them an attack order and they'll use it to get rid of the uh, broadside order yeah, conquistador doesn't look okay Well, they're going to outnumber me. They're going to outmaneuver me in this ship, so begin to pivot. Turn. Fire wall's not on. I'll try, try and get a broadside off before she. Yeah, she's routed. He's also not very happy. Fire off your broadside now while you can, because I could well lose you. Hey, you're back! Fire as she bears! Ready to fire broadside right while you can. Pivot back around and fire off broadside left. Let's see if you can get fire off first sight of trouble. You just started to fire a handful of guns and it was like, nope. Pivot you. You'd pour some shots into Varna. Too bad, you're not going to be in great of a position to engage. Oh, you can. Bang! You haven't got many shots left.
fire, 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 fire. Come on, pour fire into him. Don't like how this is going. Lots of my ships have just got swarmed by the enemy. You're done for, you're done for. You're done for, right. Book it. You can try. But I just need to book it, because, yeah, those... Lots of these ships were gobbled up. They weren't going to go very far. The ships to the rear weren't going to be able to do what they needed to do. Damn. Damn you, Russians. Why can't they do stuff like that when I'm trying to kill them? Oh well. At least it's caused them issues. All of you. You're not even routing it. Oh no, they are. They're routing at full chat. Although, where's the edge of the map? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the recording here and bring you guys back at the end. Just a second, everyone. And there we go, guys. The last of our ships are slowly creeping over the line. Their brig of war firing some parting shots. Gag. That's so frustrating. But again, it just proves that I'm really bad at naval battles. So all I can really do is just build... Um, doom stacks and smash into the enemy one at a time. But there we are. These things happen. And again, it's kind of why I'm never actually that bothered about the uh, the naval side. I'm always more... I don't know. I'm better at the land side. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So safe to say that, that this trade zone's probably going to get gobbled up. I mean, they are galleons, though. <laughs> That's the thing with galleons, is they, they're good ships. They will, at the very least, wear them down. Even though we're defeated, we haven't actually lost ships. We haven't actually lost any ships. Uh, yeah, this is where we're at. I'm, I'm, it makes more sense for us to invest in our army to destroy Russia on land than it does to build ships to try and defeat them um, at at sea. That's the greater the greater victory, I think. Mm, the Persians are mass massing. So he just ran right around us. See, look how annoying that is. I mean, I, I deliberately didn't move the whole distance to try and maintain some movement points. But apparently that wasn't enough. But they couldn't attack the city because the army was there. So that's going to be a slight. Oh, the Persian spies at, is up to their tricks. So you might attack the remnants of that army. Mr. Cordova replenish, so I'm reluctant to move this fleet because it's really nice having a really powerful fleet just sat here blocking access to the med. But it looks like I need to build another one. So let's build a Admiral's flagship first rate. Three heavy first rates. Two first rates and a bunch of second rates. Let's get building. You're also into the mix. I'm this force ah, oh, did Mr. Reyes die finally? Henri de Leon? Oh no, that was it. Henri de Leon died. Antonio de Castaneta died. At least he died and wasn't captured. Military technology shortened carbines. And then you've hopped on to research explosive rockets, which I'm not entirely bothered about, but it's not allowed there's literally nothing else you can research, so. Jean Mazdeux, Quartermaster, plus 5% infantry units campaign movement range, which is great. And Anselmo Canyon, local knowledge, plus 1 subterfuge when counter spying. So 
so let's build some ships here. Because we've got a handful of ships here. All they're doing is just blocking in a Russian force. That brigade you to craft workshop and repair. The industrial buildings, upgrade the roads. Coming for you, Kiev. They know what's they know what's about to happen across most of their line. But at least we did build fortifications. Let's upgrade some ports. Need to build need to keep building some occasional up top level ports. First of all, let's check for any road upgrades. So we've got metal roads. Zagreb has cobbled roads. Upgrade a port. Cloth mill. Let's get another galley. Let's actually get a handful of galleys. You're on your way west. East, sorry. My spies are on their way east. Uh, yeah, I got some things to repair here. Um, but Mr. Galve is going to siege Vilnius. Arturo Cruz is going to try to demand the surrender of Yelgava because the army to the rear was coming in to support them. But that means that you can pretty much hop through Courland straight into Riga. I mean, Colin won't like that one bit, but if I can take this Prussia garrison, which is no longer needed to protect Konigsberg, they can put, move up and garrison Yelgava. Keep them sweet. Then you can push against Mr. Marov. Christian can push against Gal uh, Galicia de Podolia. Mr. Mercado, keep pushing east. Okay, so Christian Morales, push against this Russian force here in an iron workshop and drive them east. So now they're a bit buggered because we've also got Moscow under siege. So they may win a temporary victory at sea, but it will not save them from final defeat in the... In the end. So, so, so. Let's play our artillery to the rear. Uh, who's, that, who's that really weak unit? Ah, engineers. You men stay out of it. Everyone else. Form up. Going to advance into the belly of the Russian beast and pull their guts out through their face. There we go. Cavalry out on the flanks to push up fairly aggressively. Christian to the centre. Good. Oh yes, household cavalry is an excellent target. For quick lime. Oh, I bet they didn't like that one bit. Household cavalry was reduced by 30 cavalrymen. Let's pick new targets because I sense that we are going to get into a bit of cavalry fisticuffs. You men drop into square. Same with the 15 foot guards. These units on the flank can advance up like so. There we go. So they might... Oh, it's lovely they bump, They chose to bump into our... Grenadiers to do that. You can advance, being careful of this cart, because that will stop them from deploying. Yeah, if there's one person they could hit, it, was, it would be my Grenadiers. And they're backed up on both flanks by... Some incredibly capable infantry. As long as the squares don't get broken. 
Tatar, Dragoons, more artillery slamming against the demi cannons, but they're missing. Oh no, they're focusing on the unit that ran away. Retarget. Go on, Grenadiers. You're getting attacked quite, <laughs> quite majorly, but you're holding them off fantastically well. These regiments of foot on the flank should definitely be helping out there. The musket battles on the flanks are still ongoing. Get my hussars down around the flank. Let's bring in my cavalry. Let's bring in you chaps like so. Key is going to be can these grenadier guards hold out? It looks like they're, they're backing up their cavalry charge with a bayonet charge. So my engineers get out of square, counter charge the militia. We're charging in square formation. Form line, ready to engage infantry. Curacier take out that warband at close range. The marines have decided to engage, which was a bad decision. Household cavalry's gone. So bring this cavalry in to slam into the 43rd regiment. Pull my cuirassier out of the way because they're likely taking surplus damage. Switch out our quickline targets. My light cavalry has hit the 43rd regiment in the rear, so they're going to be upset and exposed. This regiment of line infantry yep, has been exposed. Got the line infantry supporting the battle against the infantry on the left, grenadiers, and infantry hold the line here. The general's bodyguards trying to counter charge my cuirassier, so make sure we hit them first. Pull my hussars out. The unit of household cavalry is attempting to protect their general, but that's not going to help them. Quick line just blew apart the 56th regiment. They're not going to stick around. No way. Switch to round shot. Start dropping quicklime in against the infantry targets on either flank. Well, I say either flank. I mean the left. Advance, get these grenadiers to secure the last demi cannon position. So we've got air on this flank against. Hit the household cavalry because the general's bodyguard is trying to lure you towards the spikes. Hussars are hitting the general's bodyguard. And the 19th foot guards are holding on bravely against impossible odds. All my gunners focus on that general's bodyguard unit. As they're not in combat with my troops, I don't really mind what happens to them. Although I would probably like to form a line with my right flank, fire it will off. My grenadier is going to scale the breastworks protecting their last gun position and take it with the bayonet. There we go, kill their last gunner. Charge my grenadiers into this general's bodyguard fight. Howitzers keep dropping shots against the 43rd. Where is the enemy general's bodyguard? Did he join the fight? He did. Now, these men are all holding fire at will. Grenadiers have smashed in against this unit. Hopefully we at least get one of the generals. Aha, there we go. They're attempting to push a unit of line infantry into the mix. General down. Rio 
eradicate our artillery targets to the 48th. Nope, they have also had enough. That's going to make them fall back. There we go, Russia. You might win at sea, but by God, you're going to lose on the land. And this is so backwards. That's not what Russia's supposed to do. Russia's supposed to be great on the land. These things happen. They've been pushed back. Christian Morales replenish. Jamie Dezara hit Borislav Marov. Actually, I might auto that because that's not going to be much of a fight. Okay, so sieging Riga, Vilnius, and also Moscow. You know what? Just kick off the next episode. Jean Mazdeur. Let's take Moscow. We haven't got the money to hold on to the city, but I think the main problem will be this modern university. If we can destroy that, then I think it won't really matter that we haven't got any cash. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time to see the Spanish Royal Standard flying high over Moscow. Cheers, everyone.